Capricorns, welcome back. This is your December 2019 General Energy Tarot Reading. So much stuff here. I'm trying not to run into the mic, trying to stay in camera, and I can't even see what I'm shooting. So I sure hope you guys can see this. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for December 2019. Let's check the shot. Alrighty. Looks good. Okay. So let's see what's crossing in first. Ooh. Okay. So there is sort of this uh, rebirth here with a death. Death card is really about rebirth, rejuvenation, um, whether it's upright or reverse here with the moon. Um, over you and I'm hearing uh, psychically hearing full circle full, full circle full circle so this may feel as though uh, that it this is a full circle situation for you but it feels like so the moon doesn't reveal all it is secretive it is um, psychic okay the moon The moon wants you to use your intuition here. And so death is representing, is the, is, uh, represents Scorpio. The moon represents Pisces. So there is a lot of mutable energy here for you. And Capricorns, you do well with water signs. So you do well with mutable energy. You are very, you may feel very mutable, like you're able just to transition and transform this month and just be where you need to be and be in the mindset that you need to be in for wherever you're at. Yeah, really just following your instincts here. There is this opportunity, Capricorn. There is this opportunity. Death card is here and it's time to grow. It's time to get up. It's time to get moving. This is your chance. So what's rooting you? What is below you? Ooh, more of the secretiveness. So with this, the seven, okay, I need to lower the camera so I can see it. Sorry, guys. Hope you can see this started using my phone so I can, you know, make the videos fancy smancy for you. Oh, I almost forgot. This is adult content. It's not for children's. So, keeping things close to the vest, which is very Capricorn energy. You guys aren't in my experience. Um, most people don't even realize how open they are just to vibe their energy, read what kind of person they are, read what, but not just read what kind of person they are. Let me edit that. It's more like most people don't realize how open their brain is when they're thinking, how loud they think. Most people just don't even realize how loud they think. And, um, other people who are good with reading energy are going to pick up those vibes um, might even pick up actually hearing what the uh, what people are thinking. But Capricorn, you are very good at keeping this to yourself. You don't feel like everybody needs to know your business. You're good at playing this to your chest. You know, close to the vest, close to the vest, close to the chest. Like this is what I keep hearing here. So you may have this sort of plan about how things are gonna change for you. You may be deciding here to go on a new path 
and um, you are using the month of December as your transformation period. Um, you may be phasing out. I'm seeing like the moon phase out and phase in. Phasing out of a job, phasing out of a relationship into a new job, uh, phasing out of a home. Not really seeing houses though, but I am kind of hearing home, home, home. But you're phasing out and phasing into something else. And this may not be something that you are openly discussing with everybody as of now. What's behind you? Okay. So I don't necessarily like seeing this in a phasing period for you um, because this does mean that it's a possibility. Remember, this could be somebody else, but so let's do it both ways. Your ego can make you a little too big for your britches right now, or you are phasing out of a situation, moving and, you know, plotting your escape from a situation because somebody else's ego is just too much for you to handle. You're like, you know what? You're constantly making me lose my balance. So I'm going to find my way out. And December is about me setting this plan in motion, I'm hearing. Okay? So possible, possible outcome. Well, we don't ever like to see the sun in reverse. <laughs> Um, let's get a clarification. The high priestess, more psychic. Oy, chihuahuas. Okay. So the moon and the high priestess are very similar cards. The high priestess is about mystery, <laughs> like the moon is. Um, and it's about intuition, like the moon is. But the moon controls the tides. And I feel as though that you are really sort of controlling your emotions here. You are so focused that I do feel as though that you are honed in on exactly sort of you, this plan that you're laying out. Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing bricks being laid out and being ever so adjusted. You're making sure this tile is all in very consecutive order. It's very neat and there's no mess, evenly measured. You are being so careful about whatever this plan is. Well, of course, now I want to know. <laughs> so tell me down below. I want to know what are you up to, Cappies? Um, but Okay, all right, turn this frown upside down. That's what I heard. Turn this frown upside down. So this really could be about you making it, well, all right, Capricorn. When someone hands you lemonade, or excuse me, when someone, oh my goodness, words are hard. I read this a while back. You give um, you give a Capricorn lemons. They don't make lemonade. They make orange juice and shock the hell out of you. It basically sums it up. Capricorns, you can masterfully, like I'm seeing the bricks and the tiles, um, brick tiles being laid down. Um, oh, you know what? They're they're those chromatic tiles, like um, Spanish style homes have um but it's like you are masterful at taking a problem and not only flipping it around you don't just make lemonade out of lemons you make orange juice out of lemons because you're that capable you're that methodical in this planning and I don't know if methodical is I just I don't want you to take that in a negative way because I don't feel like you're plotting revenge. It just feels like you are really, whatever this transition is, you are in full focus, full focus. Okay. But I feel like you know this. So with the, you know, 
future, future outcome here being the Knight of Pentacles. This is about good news coming at a slow pace because he is standing still. He's not moving. He's hanging on. He's surveying the land before he heads out here. And this is you. This is you. I mean, pentacles are coins, are earth signs. They represent the earth energy. But it's really, I feel like you know you're setting this plan in motion and you're taking it step by step. He's listening. Listening to that intuition. Listening to that gut feeling. As long as you listen to your gut, you're fine. I don't feel like you are going to head down the wrong road here. I really feel like this is that making orange juice out of lemon situation, turning that frown upside down. Okay. Capricorns. Embrace the feminine. All right, so we will be reading Raven Felon's words to go with her messenger oracles. I love her cards. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining us. When I get to the oracle card, I do like to read what the author has written about the card. And um, I just... I'm very inspired by Raven Felon. I find her artwork and her books very, very beautiful. Um, so please come back, click that subscribe button and that notification bell, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Embrace the fem fem feminine. <laughs> Words are hard. Within ourselves, there are two aspects to our nature, the feminine and the masculine. Here in the present, you need to embrace the feminine aspect of your nature and let it guide your steps. Now is a time to be nurturing, creative, and to connect with nature, home, and heart. Listen to your intuition and emotions. Be receptive and compassionate. But remember, whilst you allow your feminine self to be dominant, you need to temper your gentleness with a fire that denies all meekness. She's amazing. I love what she says. This mutable energy with the Pisces and the Scorpio, these are feminine energies. Oh, with a fire, Capricorn. With a fire. All right, I'm, I'm done preaching. I decided we haven't pulled one of these bad boys in a while. Nope, nope, nope. Not going to use that one. Uh, these are too large for my little hands. All right, I'm just gonna fan them out. So this is Whispers of Love, and I already know which one we want for you. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem and back to love. Is it centered? So, spark that fire rejuvenate, rekindle that love. Your plan is emotion. For some of you, you may be planning on getting your groove back. For others, you may be planning on rejuvenating that relationship or initiating love for yourself and saying, I'm out. With general energy reading, this is about taking the message that you hear and allowing what resonates with you 
to be what you take away from this. And of course, I do always recommend that you come back and watch the video again mid-month to see if, uh, if you get more messages or more information from this reading. So be sure to like the video so it'll stay in your liked videos. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. You're amazing. I appreciate your support. And as always, Capricorn, go out there and make a high vibrational change to the world.